A new study finds stress from the COVID-19 pandemic may have caused physical changes to teenage brains. Here to answer questions is Dr. Scott Hadland, Chief of Adolescent and Young Adult Medicine at Mass General for Children. Dr. Hadland, thanks for joining us on this Friday. Thanks for having me. All right, Dr. Hadland, researchers compared brain scans for 128 children that were taken before and after the first year of the pandemic. What surprised you about the results? Well, you know, one thing that really surprised me is just how dramatic some of these structural changes in the brain were. So just to give a little bit of context for our viewers, um, the researchers did a study basically in the San Francisco Bay Area in which they compared the brains of 64 teens um, from before the pandemic to the brains of 64 teens during the pandemic. And they matched these teens on a variety of factors like age and gender. And what they found is that there were big structural differences in the parts of the brain that were responsible for critical thinking, for planning, for memory, uh, for emotional regulation. And teens that lived through the pandemic had brains that looked on average older than the teens that lived um, during times before the pandemic. And so, you know, I'm surprised by how dramatic these structural changes were. And yet on the other hand, I'm not terribly surprised that teens are really struggling and this may be manifesting in some ways in which they have some changes in their brain. Hmm. So speaking about that, we have uh, talked a lot about the recent increase in the number of kids requiring mental health treatment. So do you think there could in fact be a link to these physical changes? Oh, absolutely. I mean, just to give you a sense, we run one of the largest teen health practices uh, that provides primary care and subspecialty care to adolescents across New England. And when I go into clinic on a typical day, I would say upwards of about 75% of the teens that I see are struggling with mental health. This is depression, anxiety, eating disorders, substance use. And this really mapped on to the findings that the authors of this study had. They found that teens that were struggling with many of these same issues were the ones ones that had a lot of these brain changes. And I think a key question for us clinicians now is if we can identify and intervene with these teens to give them the help and support and mental health resources that they need, can we perhaps reverse some of these structural changes that seem to be taking place? All right, Dr. Hadlin, I think most parents would hope that, you know, surviving one of these ordeals might help their child. Um, so yeah, in terms of resiliency. Yes, exactly. So what do you say about that? Yeah, I mean, teens are resilient, right? So every day when I see teens, I'm impressed at what they're able to accomplish and what they've lived through in these last few years. And many teens are thriving, to be very clear, but some teens are struggling and it's our job as adults as parents, as clinicians, as teachers, as members of the community to intervene and try to help teens when we know that they're struggling. And so I would encourage parents, if they suspect that their teen is starting to show signs of depression, anxiety, or other mental health problems, to reach out and get help. Um, pediatricians like me are here to help. We've got resources available, and this is, this is what we do. And we're here to provide these services to families and get kids connected to the help that they need.